Let's get started and see how we can apply naming standards to our data model. The first example, I want to apply naming standards to the logical model. This is one that I've just reverse engineered from an AdventureWorks database. And because the database has abbreviated names, when the logical model was created after reverse engineering, it used the physical abbreviations. So I want to update these to more logical names, full business names. First, what we need to do is create a naming standards template, which I've done prior to this video. You can see on the mappings tab, I have one column for logical words and a physical column for their abbreviations. I've also gone ahead and, spe and specified the word separation, in my case, by case. Once that's been done, I can go ahead and use the naming standards utility against the logical model to update the names. So I'll select our AdventureWorks template. We want to convert from physical to logical names. And let's go ahead and run it against all of the entities. We'll run translation. You can see the abbreviations worked correctly. Click OK. And the naming standards have been applied. If we had our template pre-configured before reverse engineering, we can apply it during that step. So let's see that. Let's go ahead and reverse engineer the same AdventureWorks database with those abbreviated names, but apply the template during reverse engineering so that the logical names are already converted to full names after the reverse engineering is complete. What I'm looking for on the fifth page of this wizard is to select an external naming standards template for my logical model. I've already done that and it's the same template we've just seen so I'll click finish and it's complete. You can see here that all the logical names are full words where the physical model still has its abbreviated names. Lastly, if we're working in the other direction, that is building a logical model and then creating a physical model based off of the logical schema, we may want to apply naming standards at that point. But this would be the opposite of what we've done. We would want to apply the same template, use the same template, but apply it to the physical model so that it converts full names to abbreviations. Again, we'll use that same template. We'll first generate a physical model. We'll use SQL Server 2014. And we'll need to choose our naming standards template. We'll select external in this case, because I have it saved off. And we'll finish. And a new physical model, the platform we've specified, will appear with the abbreviated names. And that'll do it. Three easy ways to apply naming standards with an ER Studio data architect. Music